we're off to a little bit of a late start today but I want to brew a beer today. Well, a couple beers today because it's halfway decent weather and I don't have a whole lot else going on right now. So it's nice to do things like this before garden season starts. This weekend, we're supposed to get up into the 70s. Really looking forward to that. It's kind of like the first sign that spring is actually coming. However, we do have some daffodils that are about to break buds. And there's also some buds on a few of our maple trees. And I've seen, I think, some crocus flowers pop up. So it is coming. And then yesterday, Glenn and I were doing some fun things like working on taxes on the computer and our power went out and as soon as it went out I heard a loud bang like it sounded like a shotgun almost and up here in this right away this dead ash tree fell across the right away and I think just barely hit the power line enough to like ground it out anyway so we had to wait a while for the power guy to come out and take care of that there's so many of these dead ash trees everywhere. I don't even know that there's any living ash trees out here. And it's all because of the ash borer, I think. I don't know if it's like a beetle or, I don't know. I don't know what kind of actual bug it is, but apparently these ash borers are just decimating the ash trees. And so often when the power guys come to like clear the power lines, so much of it is these dead ash trees. It's such a shame. I'll tell you what, it really feels like it might rain. I don't think it's supposed to rain until later tonight, but just has that feeling in the air that that might happen which is really inconvenient if it does because it makes it pretty hard to boil when it's raining some of this autumn olive has already had bud break there's green on quite a few of these this autumn olive is the first thing to bud in the spring it's also Glenn's least favorite tree slash bush I don't know if it's a bush or a tree but it is just very very invasive it grows really fast and spreads really quickly with the autumn olive, if you don't constantly stay on top of pushing it back, it just keeps encroaching and taking more land from you over time. Our hazelnut trees here are almost about to break buds. It's going to be any day now. We have several things we need to do to start getting ready for garden season, but Bessie has a piece in the shop being worked on. Bessie's our tractor, and we're waiting to get that back to get ba Bessie back in action to get back to the garden work, but we want to come out and we left all these dead corn stalks up. For one, it provided a little extra cover for the chickens when they're out here. And two, the roots kind of help the soil from eroding so much. At least to a certain degree, I'm sure it helps. The other thing that we want to do is get all the hay out of what was going to be the goat barn and spread that all over the garden to add some more organic matter to the garden because if you as you know if you've been watching our channel we have really heavy clay soil and we've been trying really hard to do whatever we can to improve the soil so we might as well just put all that hay on the garden since we're not going to be getting goats anyway i mean especially now that we're waiting to see what's going on with the new property and hopefully that won't take too long and it wouldn't make any sense for us to get goats right now anyway because what I would really like to do instead of dairy goats is to do a dairy cow in the future so we'll see how all that turns out but when you get Bessie back in action and then we can start getting this garden ready we're so exciting today <laughs>
got my beer chilling. Kaja and I are gonna go around and check these maple trees, see how much sap we got. I'm not really expecting a whole lot today. Brr, that wind is getting chilly. So far, there's hardly anything. I think I'll check two more trees and then if they don't have much, I probably won't even bother checking the rest. <laughs> Nothing in that one. Barely anything in this guy. A little bit, but not enough to really do anything. I think out of those three trees, I got like a cup of sap. I'm trying to see if this tree has buds on it yet, and it looks like it has little tiny ones on it. So this one's still got a little while to go, but the tree in our backyard, it definitely has buds on it, decent sized buds on it. And once a maple tree or a tree that you're tapping breaks buds. The sap just doesn't taste very good anymore. It kind of gets bitter. So that definitely signals when the end of the season is over. But so far it's been a pretty good year. I don't know exactly how much we've gotten yet because I have little bits and pieces in the fridge. I'm pretty sure we're at like a gallon now of actual syrup, which is what we usually get but I'm hoping that I'll end up with more than a gallon this year, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna check this one more tree here. This has been our best, well, our second best producing tree of the year. This one right here. I think this is a sugar maple. And yep, it's got some. So maybe I will go check all the others. It just started drizzling, so we're gonna have to kind of move quick because this camera isn't exactly intended to be in the rain. I don't even have a lid on this bucket because I couldn't find one that fit this one. Gotcha. No. Nope. All right, come on, come on. Let's get this camera out of the rain. I got my beers all done and I took the sap that I collected today and I just put it in the fridge because it was only like a little over a gallon and I didn't feel like boiling in the cold rain. But I did check the radar and it does look like the rain's gonna end soon. So I could boil it outside tonight if I wanted to, but I don't really feel like it. It's not that much anyway. So didn't do a whole lot today, but got a few things accomplished and I think I'm gonna go cook dinner. Yeah. 
You're as delicate as a leaf You don't know what you mean 